Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. How long will the dollar last? You know, that's a question that I think is worthy of asking because members of this community and those in the world of finance and uh, precious metals, they have been kind of uh, writing the epitaph of the dollar for quite some time, predicting its demise for a while. And there's a lot to be said uh, for the mistakes that have been made uh, revolving around this piece of paper and uh, what backs it up. And what does back it up? It is uh, legal tender for all debts, public and private, from a private institution known as the Federal Reserve. That's right. The Federal Reserve is the institution that the government has sanctioned to back this particular note and the, for the full faith and credit of the United States government. Now, what does that mean? Most of us take it for granted that we can take this piece of paper or representations thereof recognized in digital bank accounts, checks, credit cards, and the like, and we can utilize it and spend it and know without a shadow of a doubt, with as much faith as we can muster, which by the way is doesn't take much more than a mustard seed these days to have the full confidence in this dollar to do what it does. That is to buy things, to exchange for goods and services. So no matter what people say, you know, there's a lot of dollar trashing. Yes, it's just paper. Well, technically, this note is made of a cotton-based material. Uh, some of the secrets will be held in, in uh, the Crane Paper Company in Massachusetts. But regardless, this note... Um, is uh, worthy of being recognized for what it is. You and I use it to buy our precious metals. You and I use it to pay our house payment, our car payments, and groceries. So there's something to be said for it. However, it should be also noted that every year it loses value at a targeted rate of about 2% per year by this private institution known as the Federal Reserve. And so the Federal Reserve really is the master of our domains in a sense in how it tracks inflation. Inflation means that this dollar that we have so much faith in is a depreciating asset. So in order to keep up with inflation, you and I should be earning at least 2% more each year. And by the way, that's only uh, a measure of an average there's some areas of the economy where the dollar has lost more value than that. In fact, by some measures, the dollar has, left, has lost well over 11% just in the past three years. And so when you take a look at it and you look at the measure of time uh, that this dollar has been in existence under the Federal Reserve system since 1913, well, it's worth about 7 to $0.08 cents now. Uh, and so it's lost a lot of value. So then that bears the question is how long will it last? How long can we keep going? You know, seven, seven to eight cents um, now as to be what it was worth back in 1913. Uh, you know, we only have seven cents to go before it goes down to zero. So how much longer can it last? Well, people have been predicting for quite some time that this particular note um, will fall by the wayside and essentially crash before we know it. But it's really anybody's guess. Um, but there's a couple of things that we can measure and gauge and predict uh, based off of what the government has done, along with the Federal Reserve, and, um, and what they are not doing. And I think as far as what they have done over the past um, seven, eight years or what have you is quantitative easing. They printed more of these, so many of these notes that um, it's flooded the marketplace, flooded the world essentially with these notes and uh, helped to, of course, obviously, when you take a look at basic economics, the more of something means the less valuable it is. 
And so with more of these notes in circulation, and uh, then typically they lose value quicker. But they probably did that knowing that other currencies are in trouble too. And so the dollar, being the world's uh, upmost reserve currency, there's a breadbasket of several other currencies according to the IMF, and the dollar is still the king of them all. Does not mean it's in good shape, but it is in better shape than the rest. And so with that being said, the dollar can still last as long as the other currencies um, um, don't and other nations of the world don't don't lose the dollar as that federal um, of, as that world reserve currency. You know, if you liken it to oil, especially what Henry Kissinger did back in 1973, uh, the oil was oil was tied to the dollar, and so the exchanges of oil had to be made in dollars, what's known as the petrodollar system, and we're still at the tail end of that today. However. As of the last year or so, the United States has uh, become a net exporter of oil, which means we are even less reliant on oil than ever before, and other countries are wanting to get off the dollar. So if more countries get off the dollar and lose faith in the dollar and don't use it in their systems, such as you see with Russia and China and others uh, obtaining more gold, well then this dollar um, has a like, more likelihood chance of failing uh, down the road. What was life like before the Federal Reserve? Well, the dollar was based off of a, a gold standard, and silver was used as money. That's right. And so when you have gold and silver as money, these are representations. These are gold, and this is a gold and silver coin, a gold $20 coin, and a silver $1 coin. Morgan dollar and St. Gaunt's $20 gold eagle here. These particular coins represent uh, what the dollar used to be, and at that time it was much more. It was much more faith, and uh, and an understanding and stable and stability in our system. And uh, and you notice that it was a time before we put precedence on coins and notes, and um, we represented the ideas of liberty and that is what it was about it was about liberty and freedom and those ideals we focused more on ideals than on people and i think that is a paramount shift and uh, and i think that is really the beginning of the end uh potentially just how long will it last of the dollar as we know it and so my feeling is is that how long will the dollar last it, it's, a, it's, it's going to still be anybody's guess. If we continue with quantitative easing and injection and, um, and the government getting involved with the economy, I believe it's not going to last nearly as long. If we stop what we're doing and we start to be fiscally conservative and uh, with how we treat our dollar and maybe have a rules-based monetary system, as it stands today, the dollar could last a lot longer. But even as such, it's broken. The dollar system is broken the way it is now. Status quo is no longer uh, acceptable in terms of where the dollar is and should be. I believe there will eventually become a reset of the dollar. And when that happens, I believe we will see um, a new standard put in place. Will it be a standard of smoke and mirrors and... Um, Really, as such is the Federal Reserve System these days, or will it be a hard and fast rules-based monetary system to put constraints on what regulators and manipulators can do? What's the best rules-based system we can have to put in place to save the dollar or have a new dollar in place? Well, silver and gold. Silver and gold are the metals that we accumulate, understanding that they've been money for thousands of years. And so, as such, we hold them because they transcend currencies. That's right. These two metals will outlast the dollar no matter when the dollar dies or is rebirthed into a new dollar system. So, gold and silver is the ultimate protection and hedge against economic instability and against currency crises. And 
The dollar is merely a currency. Now, it does have full faith and credit of the most powerful nation in the world economically, militarily. There's a lot to be said for that. However, that does not mean it can go on forever. And it does not mean that it can't fall. It doesn't mean it can't fall hard. And I'm not predicting that it necessarily will. I believe there will probably be a dollar reset in due course. But if and when that happens, I believe that... Um, um, you know, gold and silver will play a role or a part. And even if they're not in the new system, to whatever that is, I believe they will be revalued. And I believe that people hopefully will start to wake up to what gold and silver is. And I believe that if you're watching this video and you've not thought about accumulating precious metals, might be a good time to start. Silver, this metal here, has been used as money more commonly and... Um, and widespread throughout history than any other metal on the face of the earth. It is a, a beautiful, lustrous metal, and uh, you can accumulate this metal for a pretty good bargain these days. And, um, and it is a slightly more volatile metal than the other metal, gold. However, in the end, if you average it out through the course of time, it does preserve your wealth. There are times where it fluctuates above and below that inflation adjusted line. However, if you hold on to it long term, you will do that. It provides an excellent savings vehicle. Silver, an amazing metal indeed. Gold has been a store of value and of wealth for millennia. It too has been money for quite a long time. Although given its rarity, it is not used in everyday currency exchanges as often or as much as silver has. However, it is a wonderful, beautiful metal. And uh, it can be accumulated in various different sizes. And so that you can find a way to accumulate some of this metal uh, for not a whole lot of money in smaller sizes. And there are deals to be had in that realm. But nonetheless, these metals will continue to carry on and press on. And uh, the dollar will eventually fade away or disappear or be turned into something else. That something else will either be really bad or better than what it is now. Uh, timing that, uh, that um, exchange or that change or that revolution in the dollar or the failure of the dollar, the collapse of the dollar, is something that... I don't think many of us can really peg down, but I think the signs are there, and I think that the signs that we have seen, that I've talked about in this video, especially with quantitative easing and, um, and, and government intervention, I think uh, one sign, if we see more of that, you can see a quicker slide into the maelstrom of, of, a, of a collapse, potentially. If we have less government intrusion, and, um, and we... Uh, stop the massive printing of these dollars, well, perhaps we'll see it uh, live another day or two. But in the current system the way it is, I think it's unsustainable in the long, long course of time. And look at any uh, chart or graph, even at a targeted 2% interest rate, you know, you can only do that for so long. To post your thoughts below, what do you think about the, the, the aspect of the dollar, its demise, and where it, uh, it will go. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude, y'all, for watching. And encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.